Charleston, West Virginia. Now, here are your hosts, Brian Hughes, Jennifer Abney, and Jason Toy. Good evening and welcome to the 20th West Virginia International Auto Show. It is bigger and better than ever before, and we are so glad you could join us for this very special, this VIP look at this year's show. It is going to be an exciting night. We are, first of all, in the $95 million renovated Charleston uh, Convention Center and Coliseum, mm -hmm. and then you've also got all of these vehicles that some people have never seen before mm -hmm. in person, and we've got some great premieres. Jason, you've got an awesome one. I've got a lot of trucks I get to show off, which is great for me. And you talk about premieres, the return of the Ford Ranger. We're going to premiere it here tonight at the Auto Show. And we also have two very special surprises for you. Just behind us, we are just moments away from you being able to see two of the most gorgeous vehicles here tonight. And this is the first time they've ever actually been seen in the state of West Virginia, one of which actually made a very special debut. You know what? It had a special debut because it was debuting in the Super Bowl, and it was an incredible commercial, and people got a good laugh about it. So let's roll it. Welcome home. <laughs> Come on. I've got something for you. What are you waiting for? Remember that one? One of the most hilarious commercials of the Super Bowl. How is that for a debutante debut? Well, if that wasn't big enough for you, we are actually going to now unveil the beautiful Audi e-tron. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the first time here in West Virginia. Take it away. And by the way, this also lets you kind of feel like you are um, in the Caribbean. This is Antigua Blue. Yay! <laughs> Okay, here's the great part about this vehicle. Not only is it absolutely beautiful, as you can see here, it's also all electronic. Believe it or not, the electric car that you used to know with the big bulky battery, that no longer exists. Take a look at the e-tron here. You can actually open it up. Even the charging option is glamorous. And once you get inside, the beauty doesn't stop here on the outside. The inside of this luxurious ride is to die for. In fact, it has some technology I've never actually seen in a vehicle before. Never has actually using your navigation system been so amazing. Take a look at this. It actually has this intelligence option. You can write the address. You don't even have to type it in and it will actually recognize that and take you right to your destination. It also has with it, which is what I absolutely love, a yacht style shifter. This particular model starts at around 74.8 and that's for the base model. But the other interesting thing about this, we mentioned it's all electric. Take a look at the battery. This is the battery. Remember the big bulky electric batteries of the past? That no longer exists in this beauty. And by the way, here's the other interesting thing. It may be electric, but it also has all the horsepower that you could possibly want. It can tow over 400 pounds. And 80% of charging could happen for you in 30 minutes, which will then take you over 180 miles. Okay, we can't just start this show with one reveal. Let's even step it up a little bit more. And guys, we're going to have you reveal now another gorgeous vehicle. Again, this is the first time it's been seen in West Virginia. This is the all new 2020 Mercedes Benz GLE 350 formatic SUV. Take it away, guys. Astoric Auto also bringing out another gorgeous vehicle. Oh, 
I feel like I need to say, be still my heart, because this is one gorgeous ride. Long gone are the SUVs that were just utilitarian. This is another example of just how gorgeous and how glamorous SUVs can really be. Take a look inside this beauty. I absolutely love the luxurious interior. It literally lets you feel like you are just relaxing almost in like a spa. It is so comfortable and so beautiful. And this actually has that, that intelligence voice control. So I was in the car earlier and you can just say, hey, Mercedes, and it will all but do your dry cleaning for you. That's just a little bit of the technology too that this actually offers. But again, this is another one of those vehicles. It's not just beautiful. It has all the power you could possibly want. The base model of this one starts at around 55.7, but they've totally reimagined the look of this. It goes to zero to 60 in just over seven seconds. It has a 9G Tronic, nine speed automatic transmission. And again, so you don't just have power in this beautiful vehicle, you also have luxury, luxury, and more luxury. Let's just take a look at the 2019 Chevy Silverado, the Z71, and how hot is this red? I tell you what, it's lighting things up in here. The best thing about Chevy, what they've done over the last couple of years, they've worked on the engine, the torque. So it's great for work, it's great for off-road, it's great for around town. What Chevy really stepped up for this year in 2019 is the luxury inside, the leather, the touchscreen display, everything you need, not only for the driver and the passenger in the front, but also the driver and the passenger, excuse me, the passengers that are in the back as well, plus more cargo space to be able to carry things that you need to be at work or like me having to move my daughter in out of college a little bit so you definitely have that type of thing to be able to work with here in the Chevy Silverado although this one didn't make the truck of the year but what did make the truck of the year let's take a look well the testing process for truck of the year is pretty unique one manufacturer is going to be really happy the other three are going to be really ticked off and every truck in the mix is usually super competitive. So it's made for a real like, direct kind of head-to-head -head fight this year. Well, one of the main reasons we come here to FCA Proving Ground for Truck of the Year testing is they've built out four trailers for us this year. Hey, this is a big year. I mean, I, don't, I can't really stress how, how much we really have to get this right. It's very interesting and very difficult for us to execute this program because everyone is usually very, very good. I liked the Denali too, the 6.2 liter engine with a 10 speed auto is. Handles pretty good. On the ramp, I just like the ride. It's very, very smooth. We have the Ford F-150, diesel power for the first time ever. The Chevy's transmission is super swift and very smooth. Our props to Chevy. It really works pretty well. These are the best-selling vehicles in America, uh, which is why this program is one of the, the biggest, uh, baddest, uh, most strenuous tests uh, that we do. And when you have those strenuous tests, you find the best truck on the road. And that is, according to Motor Trend Magazine, the 2019 Ram 1500. I've driven this vehicle over and over. I've driven older versions of it. I've driven the new version of it. And it is one sexy beast. Let me show you some awesome video. Going up and down the road, let me tell you about some of the features on this vehicle. The 1500 delivers significant gains in fuel efficiency. We've got the 3.6 liter Pinstar V6 and the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Also, it's got the UK Connect, so you can have save the art technology and you can stay connected to your vehicle. Also, the all new 2019 Ram 1500 gears up with high end innovative design, unbreakable interlocking themes, plus all new security. You've got more than 100 safety and security features, and this has adaptive cruise control with stop and go hold. Let me tell you something out of all the trucks around here that I've driven, I've driven many of them, I think this is one of the top vehicles, and clearly, Motor Trend believes that but let's go back to Jason toy he's got more on what's happening in the Chevy boot Jason well we're still over here in Chevy we talked about the Silverado before let's talk about the thing making a return back for Chevrolet 
how about it? The Blazer. It is back in the Chevrolet lineup here. They're getting back into the crossover market. Now, the great thing with the Chevy Blazer is a lot, it's a great crossover in the aspect that it gives you that luxury of a car, but it allows you to be able to have that SUV type of feel. The chassis that is underneath this ride is the same thing you find in the Cadillac XJ5 and their SUV. So you know you're going to have something that is stable that's going to be able to work for you. Inside, though, tons of room for you and the family. And, of course, you have to have all the latest technology stuff as well with touch screens. And you always got to have the things back here for the kids to be able to plug in. So a lot of, a lot of plug-ins for them to be able to enjoy what they need to riding around town in the brand-new Chevy Blazer, brand-new for 2019. Brian, it's making a return. It's going up with a big splash right now when it comes to the return of the Blazer. That is right. I love the Chevy Blazer. We looked at that, that color, pretty unique and awesome. Now, I'm in front of right now the Dodge, uh, Dodge Durango. This is the SRT version. Now, a friend of mine, he's got the regular Dodge Durango. That thing jumps off the line in a heartbeat. But if you want incredible power and strength, you go with the SRT. So let me tell you a few things about the Dodge Durango. It is, as far as I'm concerned, really a no compromise uh, SUV. It's got five distinct models. SXC, GT, Citadel, the RT, and the SRT, which is what I've got here. It's got a solid range of performance and powertrain options with a 475 horsepower Durango SRT. It's America's fastest, most powerful, and capable three-row SUV. And to the efficient V6 power, the Dodge Durango SXT. It's got available all-wheel capability on all models. Plus, also new for 2019, the Durango Citadel uh, models. They get standard second-row captain's chair. Durango models are equipped with the optional trailer tow guard and now feature a new integrated uh, trailering brake. So this one, yes, you've got two rows and then you've got the third row option. Plus, you can't beat some red leather. And speaking of red, let's go back to the Elk River. That's where we find Jennifer Abney and Jennifer has the XC40. Jennifer. This is an absolutely beautiful SUV. I want to show this off because this is actually the first one that Volvo has made. This is the XC40. This is the first year that it's been out and been available. And they tell me they literally cannot keep this vehicle on the lot. So this is actually kind of like the little brother of the, of the Volvos we've been so familiar with in the past. But the great thing is this also introduces an entirely new price point for people to be able to enjoy a Volvo. But not only is is this actually a little more compact? It still has all the luxury that you are used to with Volvo. Take a look at the screen inside. It literally is a computer here on board with you. So again, this is another one of those options where it is absolutely beautiful inside and outside. And it's also at that golden price point for you to enjoy. This is just the beginning. We have so much more to show you this evening for the West Virginia Auto Show. It's the 20th year and it is bigger than better than ever before. Don't miss a minute. West Virginia auto dealers are driving the economy with 135 dealers creating over 12,000 jobs, with 44 of those jobs coming directly each year across the state.